So we're going to look at a new F-250. It's an XLT, but it's got the chrome package. It's an attractive truck. I remember looking at it a week ago. So it was priced at, uh, it's a 6.7 liter power stroke and I've always wanted a power stroke. It's priced at $45,000 and they just dropped the price $5,000. On Kelly Blue Book, it goes for like 47, 48 with 30,000 miles. I was debating whether to get like a second gen Cummins uh, or just like an old truck for towing the skid loader and dump trailer. But this truck came up so cheap where I could trade in, the, hopefully trade in this F-150 and not pay that much difference. And there's nothing wrong with this F-150. I just want to get a diesel. You know, when something comes up cheap, you're sketched out. So who knows how it's going to turn out. There she is. I'm going to try to test drive a Duramax here too, just to see the comparison, even though I'm probably not going to buy a Duramax. It's got the old man smell, a little bit. Yep. Brake and the gas pedal are so far apart. It's almost like Ford doesn't want you to push on the gas pedal. Like you gotta really move your knee almost. It's weird. So I ended up buying it and these next clips are like five days after we bought it and after I've drove it a little bit. Well, here she is, a 2017 F-250 Power Stroke. You guys know in my videos, like in farm sim, I've been saying forever, I've wanted a new aluminum duty. I'm surprised with the chrome package that they want to have a chrome, uh, these chrome front bumpers right here. The Lariats have, have these chrome and like, I like the Lariat look of it, so I was thinking about paying like 300 bucks and buying a new, just a new front end kit to get these chrome. You might as well have them since they're a chrome package. In like a couple days, I actually got new tires coming on here. They're the exact same. I didn't want to go too beefy tires because like a lot of people say they like need it for off-roading, but I don't go off-roading. I don't care to take this truck like crazy off-roading, you know. Dual exhaust. Now a lot of you guys are going to be like, dude, squad, delete this. Tune in, man. Let it roll cool. Right now for like the first year, until we hit, until the warranty's gone, I'll probably keep it, keep it stock. I've thought about deleting and tuning it. Also, I don't. I, I don't really care for a crazy loud truck at all. Like, I heard a Duramax the other day driving, and you could literally just hear the turbo going every single second, even when we were just going cruising 30 mile an hour. Like, it's cool, but I feel like that gets super annoying. It doesn't have a bed liner or spray in bed liner, so what I was thinking about doing is just getting a mat like I did with my old truck. Spend a hundred bucks, just get a nice mat to cover it. There's a light in the back. I gotta figure out how to run that light. It's like an aftermarket light that he installed. It's a six and a half foot bed though, so you can fit two dirt bikes with, uh, you should be able to fit two dirt bikes with close to the door. We got the power extending move. My other truck, the F-150, was cloth too, besides it was a black cloth, and so I thought the black looked really nice inside. I don't like this cloth as much as I like my black cloth. Oh, okay, so I ordered a steering wheel. So right now, this is like kind of the rubber XLT steering wheel, and I ordered the Lariat steering wheel for 200 bucks, and me and Bo, Abnormal Garage, if you guys know them, we're gonna install that, and so it'll be a nice leather steering wheel. I just, I've touched the leather F-250 steering wheels. They're so much nicer, so I was like, 200 bucks, let's do it. Let's have to do a nice leather steering wheel. At this point, I probably should just get the Lariat package. It came with the WeatherTech floor liners, which are nice. Besides, the back ones are a little messed up. We gotta work on that a little bit. Ones, I think what this is supposed to like fold down to here to cover this, but these are all messed up now and they like fold up like that. So what I'm gonna do is just take snippers and just cut it right here, and we'll just leave this part open most likely. But it's got these that will fold up here. Oh, and then these come up. And then you got your box here, which is nice. And then you can store all your crap. <laughs> you, have, you know, uh, like cars will shake when they're mm -hmm. up. This shakes the truck, dude. That's something I saw in movies that I never thought was possible with a vehicle of mine. What are we doing, squad? We gotta test out the four wheel drive on this. I guess I did, when I was in the dealership, I didn't even test it, I'm assuming. Obviously it works. Right now we got our four wheel drive. 
I was gonna take her down to the bottom of the land, but it is soft through here, dude. We're getting there uh, all detailed Wednesday. Do it, send it. Oh, he smoked the damn one. Oh my God. I forgot you were on four wheel drive. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey. We're gonna climb that hill. <laughs> but dude, Should it I is- Should I get out for that? Or? Uh, it is soft, dude. With these tires, I gotta make sure I can get up the hill. Dude, I couldn't even get that thing to swing around. She gripped like crazy. Careful. She should be able to climb this. We might be going sliding a little bit. Oh yeah, yep. Oh. Just oh. let it roll. Dude, I gotta make sure I can get up this hill. And if you can't, just leave it down here until she dries up. Yeah, I don't know if this was the smartest move. Cause you can't get over there to, this, to the not so steep one. There's no way I'm crawling up it. Yeah. You already should have gotten more speed, I mean. Oh, ah, dude. I don't know if it's gonna do it though. Cause I don't wanna be sliding back on my way back down. This is dope. Okay, so I'm gonna just gas it up there. No. Oh no. Oh my goodness, he locked it up all the way down. You need more speed, more momentum. That was pretty good, you just need more of it. So my original thought was, hey, just go down this hill and then we'll turn around and then we'll just crawl back up the hill. See the torque of the truck, right? But I didn't realize how greasy this hill actually is. And so I didn't want to give it another try just yet because it would tear up the hill. I tore up that hill so much it was so slick uh, just doing that one time. So we are going to reroute around to a hill that's less steep. But to get there, you got to go through some mud. And so it was a horrible idea just moving over to this hill. You're gonna see how these do unlock and I'm stuck. I'm gonna try backing out of there. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of this spot. I don't go off-roading. I don't care to take this truck like crazy off-roading, you know. So right now, the truck is buried at the bottom. We got it stuck really deep because we were trying to reroute, and then we took the four-wheeler. We were able to pull it out with the four-wheeler, uh, but the hill we were trying to make up is just a little too wet. So I'm just gonna play it safe, come back tomorrow. There's some rock over here. Toss rock all down those ruts, pack it down, and then just climb out of there slowly. Instead of going up it, maybe making it, and then come sliding down, and it coming sideways down and like tipping or something just stupid like that. It's not worth it. That's an expensive truck. It was just, it was stupid going down there. And so we're not gonna try to make it any worse. We're going after it again. Probably should have shut off the tractor because you guys can't hear me at all. But what we're doing is packing down those ruts with that rock and hopefully, you know, it'll get some grip and just climb right up there. That's the plan. Whatever you're trying to impress you two. You always screw up. This is a YouTuber's dilemma right here. Here they come. 